Hey guys, Jeremy here, and today we have another Illustrator tutorial for you guys. We're going to be learning about the artboard tool in Illustrator. So the artboard tool is pretty much allows us to manipulate and create artboards within our documents. It's really handy and it's really easy to use. Um, what an artboard is, just for those of you who don't know, it's pretty much a workspace or work area within Illustrator. So as you can see, if I zoom out, we've got this gray area, which is our global workspace or our global region. And if you zoom in, we've got these artboards which is white and it's pretty much like our canvas where we do our designs on. So to get the artboard tool up and running, we have to press shift O or you can go on the left here on the toolbar. And if you see this little rectangle here with the cuts, click that and it will select the artboard tool. So as you can see, to make sure it's selected, a name will pop up on the left hand corner and there will be lines on the edges of the board. So this means the tool was actually activated. So what we can do first off is if we go to the top hand top corner, on the left, you can see we've got presets. So at the top here, you can see all these tools where we can use to manipulate the artboard, but we're gonna just go back to presets now. And if I go click that drop down menu, it's got all these presets that come with Illustrator. So we've got, you know, print sizing, A4, A3, B5, um, letter. We even have iPads and screen sizes, as you can see down the bottom. So it's really handy. You can just click them and it'll create that size of the artboard. As you can see, I clicked A4, now it's, the size of an A4 page, which is really handy. You always want to keep into account that you make sure you know what specs you're working with on a project. So if you're working with a business card or a poster, make sure you've got the right sizing so you don't have to change it later because then you might stuff up your artwork. So just keep that in mind. So what we can also do is change the art artboard to a portrait or landscape. So there's two little buttons here. You can see these little guys in the, on the paper. If I just click those, it's going to shift it really quick like that. Easy. Um, we can also rename the artboard as well. I'm just going to call this logo design. And so now when you can see the name is changed in the artboard, really simple. And if we go to the right here, you can see there's got, we've got some options here. But if you see this option with the square and the circle, what that means is if, if I have an artwork or I have a shape or whatever I'm working on, on an artboard, it's going to move the artboard with the artwork as well. So I'm just going to quickly do a circle real quick like that. And if I select the artboard tool again, and if I click and drag this artboard, it's going to move. You can see how it's moving the circle with it. But if I untick, untick that option up the top, it's just going to move the artboard without the shape that I've put there. So you always want to make sure this, um, that option is always selected because then your upper board will just like move and then your artboard will be floating around in space. So you don't want to do that. Um, we can also select these options here as well. I don't really use these, but they just pretty much show mark marks or guides on your artboard. So you can see it's got the crosshairs. Um, just you know, for you can use it as reference if you want to center things or make a grid or something like that. That's what you can use it for. Um, we can also create our custom sizes on the artboard. If we go to the right here, you can see W for width and H for height. Um, if you want to make them the proportions constrained, just click the little link here, and it's going to constrain the proportions. So if I make this 1,500, it's going to make the height in proportion to the width and vice versa. So that's what keep in mind as well. It also tells you, it also tells you on the right here how many artboards we have. We've only got one at the moment. Um, but if you want to go into more depth, what we can do is if you click this little box here with these two lines, if you click that, it's going to bring up artboard options. <clears throat> so what this does, it puts all those tools that we just learned or used and it puts it in this um, option box. So it's pretty much the same thing. You've got the presets, the constraints, the width and the sizing. And yeah, so it's the same thing. It's just in a box if, it, if that's easier to see for some people. Um, what we're going to, I'm going to show you now is... On the right here, you can see I've got this panel. I'm just going to pull it out for now to make it easier. I use this panel as well as using the tool at the same time. It's pretty, it pretty much functions the same, but I like using the panel as well because it's easier on the side. Um, I can just create eyeballs really quickly, like pressing the button there on the bottom right. As you can see, I just got an error message. If you create a lot of new artboards, and you can see if I zoom out, it's trying to create this artboard outside of the region. So to fix this problem, what we gotta do is you can either delete artboards or we can rearrange them. So if I 
click on the right hand corner, this little drop down arrow. And if we're going to rearrange our boards on the bottom, click that. What this allows us to do is to rearrange our boards in a column basis or a row basis or from left to right or we can go down, um, you know, we can go vertical, sorry, up to down or down to up. So it's really cool um, if we want a specific layout or type of thing. So I'm just going to set it to rows. I'm going to put two rows and the spacing will be 20. And the box here, just move up with our board like we did before. Just press OK. So now, as you can see, it's put the artboards into the rows that we've selected. So as you can see here, we've got two rows going down and it's got the artboards, all the artboards that we created. So if I create new artboards now, it will keep going to the right, but to re we have to rearrange it again. So if I just do rearrange and then I press OK again, <laughs> the artboard was going off. Yeah, it, it will read, um, refresh pretty much the artboards and it will relay it out. So keep that in mind. Um, we can also delete these eyeballs as well. You can hold shift, select more, just press the bin. Excuse me. So that will delete that. Really easy. Um, you can also click to show up more options menu. We can do delete eyeballs or delete empty eyeballs. So it will just delete all those eyeballs. Um, or we can even duplicate it. If I click that, it's going to duplicate that, those eyeballs. So I'm just going to delete those. Pretty much that's most of the tools. You can also, there's one more thing, you can also create artboards using shapes. Mainly just rectangles, it works. I've tried other shapes, but they don't really, it doesn't work. So I think it's just for rectangles. So I just created this rectangle. And if I go to object artboards, I can go convert to artboard. So now that shape is now actually an artboard, which is really handy. I'll show you one more trick as well. Say we had this, our logo like this. I go to object, artboard, and if I want, what we can do is we go to fit to selected art. So you select the, your design or your shape, wherever your, how big your design is. And what's, what it does is when we go objects fits to selected artboard, it's going to make the artboard to fit to that selected shape or art. So now you can see the artboard made it to the size of our shape that we had. So that's another handy tool. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you create artboards in Illustrator CC. Um, let me know in the comments below if this helped you out a little bit. Uh, also subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next week.